Did you know that capybaras were actually living underground in Antarctica for centuries? Welcome to Knowledge Bay. The real reason why they do so well underwater is that they had to swim in the Antarctic Ocean for food. They migrated to Brazil when sloths paid them to help the sloths in their war against frogs, who migrated from Iraq too after intense protests of Fregoli's army. Capybaras liked Brazil so much that they just stayed there and started exploring more of South America. Capybaras were also hired as hitmen to help newts in their fight against the mole people of Europe during the 1800s, and they were extremely effective in their efforts because of their stealthiness. Did you know that capybaras actually played a major role in the French Revolution and controlled Spain for decades? We all know Napoleon, right? He's one of the most famous people in history because of his military wins for France during and after the revolution in the 1790s. Most people know that Napoleon had two wives, the first being Josephine, they got a divorce and she couldn't have a child, and the second was a woman called Marie Louise, who Napoleon actually didn't love but she was a powerful woman who could make an heir for him. But the real love of his life was actually a capybara. They met in a zoo in Paris and it was truly love at first sight. Napoleon, with a strong influence, had the zookeepers free his love and they secretly got married just months after. On the surface, Napoleon was married to Marie Louise, but Napoleon was truly in love with this capybara. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. Napoleon wasn't the only one in his family who had romantic relationships with a capybara. His parents actually ended up having a capybara as a child and his name was Joseph. If you guys watched our Why Mexico is Not Mexican video, you know that Joseph became the King of Spain after Napoleon crowned him as such. Now you might be asking, what about the capybara at the after party? Who is he? Did he ever actually make it to the after party? This capybara is known as the King Capybara. He's actually driving the car in that famous video, but you don't see his hands on the wheel because he's driving with his mind. And yes, he did make it to the after party with all his friends, but he left in his 1942 Ferrari because he didn't like the unprofessionalism there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and special thanks to Unity for the idea. If you guys would be so kind to subscribe, since a majority of our viewers aren't, we'd really appreciate it. And if you want to learn how the first Thanksgiving turkey was pardoned, click the video on screen.